Hey everyone, welcome to another video on Archangel Token or Archangel Token, however you want to pronounce it, I leave it to you guys. So uh, in this video, if you watch my previous video, I did tell you about the ecosystem of Archangel or Archangel and uh, it was pretty nice to see that uh, they are coming out with a kind of a staking mechanism where if you are owner of Archangel, you are actually getting the most rewarded uh, you know crypto out there right so if you're staking archangel you would be the one archangel you would be the one who would be getting the most benefit out of the staking pool so how is it and uh, why is it that i'm actually quoting that you would be the most benefited please do watch that video which is on a detailed review uh, and after that i'm covering the last slide as i told in the earlier video that the distribution of value portion where it's uh, where it has the epics along with the other projects providing a reward system to your state archangel tokens so in this video i'm going to go a little bit in detail about the ecosystem part and uh, what i mean by the projects or other projects that we see here all these bubbles and how do they contribute to give you the best reward possible if you are a holder of archangel token and you are actually going ahead and staking that so this is what is there in this video guys please do watch in detail to understand the concepts well I will try to put across my best in the best manner possible in the most simplest of words as far as possible from my side. So in the same note, before I begin, this is not a financial advice, neither am I a financial advisor. Please do your own research before you get into the crypto space in any token that you want to invest on. Please do your own research again and be wary of scams. Having said that, let's dive right to the video. This is Mr. Aslan. Crypto education is my passion, guys. So having said that i mean that's a catchy line i should make that one of my taglines i mean it is one but i'll have to start telling that more in my videos all right so moving on the last slide is where i had actually quoted a small hint on the last video previous one where i've told you that other projects also which would be part of the ecosystem of archangel would be contributing towards the reward system that is built in now just to give a quick insight or a uh, quick uh, you know a brush up on what happened in the previous video i have clearly explained on how staking archangel would give you the most benefit in terms of providing the rewards from each and every epic project that they take up now not only the epic projects that they would be working in the archangel team but any other crypto project out there who would like to be the part of this ecosystem of archangel would still be eligible to provide rewards to all the archangel holders and those who have staked in terms of their native token for the project now how is that possible i'll just go ahead and give my views and my insight on before that what do you mean by all these projects that are there in terms of <clears throat> you know in the crypto space uh, we only know about coins what are these projects all about you keep speaking about projects products and uh, all those focus focus stuff i'm not able to understand yes guys this video is for you so Having said that, I just went through Google, just typed blockchain ecosystem. That's, that's the search keyword. You just give it a search on blockchain uh, crypto or our crypto ecosystem. Either one works. This is what you would be getting. So this is a broad classification of whatever the things are existing in a blockchain. Okay. So the ecosystem is nothing but a society you can call with various uh, functionalities for different products or coins that are out there now when i say coins and tokens there is a small difference okay as simple as it gets if any project has its own blockchain it is a coin if a, uh, if any project is dependent on another blockchain it is a token that's the simplest explanation okay like if you own a block a blockchain for example, Bitcoin has its own blockchain, Ethereum has its own blockchain, it's a coin. Okay. If anything that you want to build, like Archangel token, it's built on the Ethereum platform, like it is just taking the contract of Ethereum, like using the Ethereum blockchain, but it does not have a blockchain of its own. So Archangel becomes a token. All right. So having said that, these projects as we see the developer tools the sovereignty fintech these are the broad classification based on the usage or the utility of the particular token all right in the blockchain so simply going ahead with some of the couple of good ones or prominent ones which you people would be aware if i say they are the currencies then they are pure in terms of providing the utility is something like you use it as money 
it's as simple as it gets that's the utility for currencies the developer tools is somewhere like where you can actually use that to build something as a product on the blockchain all right so these would be providing you the options or uh, what you can say the platform to build your own product and that's where you see all these currencies and many of them would not be stable coins since they do not have their own blockchain like for example if i take uh, mm, which one i mean many of them have got their own blockchains over here but i'm trying to find out any one example i am not so sure whether neo has its own blockchain but correct me if i'm wrong as far as i know neo doesn't have its own blockchain it's dependent on a fork of ethereum like it depends on ethereum platform so for the blockchain function so using neo you that's where you have the control of your gas fees and stuff right so that's the platform that is built for ensuring the transactions go through that's the mechanism so that's a development tool which enables you to build up other applications to uh, you know uh, make use of the ethereum platform so you're using that neo uh, neo bay as a base to build different applications if you want to compare this with the it sector think of it as a java developer tool okay so use uh, or uh, html development or a website development tool that you have say dreamweaver right or uh, uh, yeah dreamweaver lets you build uh, uh, you know websites right so think of that those kind of developer tools okay so the sovereignty front is something to do with your uh, wallets majorly or uh, anything in terms of uh, you know uh, providing a medium for transaction uh, that's what i would say or medium of flow of these cryptocurrencies that is what i would like to put across some kind con- over of control some amount of control that you want to keep so that uh, those products come under your sovereignty then fintech again is totally into your uh, probably say your uh, lending mechanisms or your uh, banking kind of uh, you know uh, options or it can even be something like uh, uh, you know they are providing financial products be it in them at least right now we are not seeing it but in the later stages we might even see insurances being paid by crypto right so such kind of platforms your staking also comes into uh, fintech kind of into the fintech part uh, okay so some of them are actually widespread across they have their utility in various sectors it's not only one single sector i'm just giving you a broad example guys so then you come to the value exchange wherein you see uh, probably uh, the marketplaces that you actually get in terms of you can see that the bifurcation is also there in non fungible and fungible markets in case you are not seeing it yeah it's non fungible and fungible markets so it's your nfts and normal fungible tokens that you can actually go ahead and trade probably uh, providing a marketplace for exchanges right so for in terms of commodities or products or other cryptocurrencies also or tokens that are out there right so those are the mediums where you can actually go ahead and it's it's kind of a uh, what you can say a uh, mm, a store in a blockchain as simple as that it's just a store in a blockchain where you transact right you you like a uh, you know a product you just purchase it and then you pay them some amount in terms of crypto whatever be the crypto it is right depends on each one um, uh, each particular application or marketplace out there now the shared data is basically to do with uh, data hosting portion like uh, some of the things where for example coin market cap i i believe would fall under this category because that would hold the data of uh, many such coins which are out there and that would provide a platform where you can do some uh, you know research in terms of uh, knowing what the coin is how it's performing all those stuff so that's what your shared data would uh, be or in the back end portion also to just keep it simple in the back end there are other servers which will be uh, having certain data so probably the linking of your social profiles to your cryptocurrency trading right so that kind of uh you know and uh, uh, back data is what they would ideally have so uh, that's that's coming under the, your shared data section the authenticity would ideally be in terms of uh you know probably the audit front or uh, i'm not so sure on that too much but just let me know but it would also uh, mean in terms of uh, see providing a safe gateway kind of stuff for transaction those kind of you know, things is what uh falls under the authenticity project line and the others you obviously have your gaming and esports and other third party uh you know uh, portions like your gambling your staking pools as they say the virtual reality vr 
prediction markets and all those stuff so those all fall under the other category so this is a broad classification um, and that that's just i felt it would be easier for you to understand so why am i actually speaking about this is because now take for example uh, cia coin okay cia is also a coin it has its own project and um, once that project is wanting some uh, what you can say exposure or you can even take basic attention token back that also has its own browser right so once they start linking those projects or they want to build a new project which is in conjunction with the archangel ecosystem that is when they start saying okay you are i am i am having a project with me and i want to provide some staking mechanism why don't we work together okay so in that cases what happens they come down they start uh, you know probably you can say uh, there is a, a website that archangel is building anyway so once they have that website built up they might list this token over there so for visibility and other purposes they might have uh, you know uh, uh, built up a platform right so in that scenario <clears throat> you are also providing an option to stake the token okay now when the stake happens the for that token just quoting a staking example since it's easy to understand there are a lot many complicated uh, stuff out there guys with the project wise how they can link each other more to see in the coming days okay or okay let me put it more in a more, much more simpler manner when it comes in correlation with nfts i think that's a easier topic uh, yeah i'll take the nfts place so suppose someone comes down and says i will open up a marketplace in your ecosystem i will also allow Ar archangel tokens to trade like not only archangel token in place but any other token from this epic system also to go ahead and uh, utilize my market my marketplace to purchase nfts or sell nfts or even mint nfts whatever be the scenario uh, depending upon how the conjunction goes and they would say that in return i would also like to have my token available for others to go ahead and transact in your ecosystem so now uh, anyone who is coming out with an epic platform so probably tomorrow uh, archangel might come out with its own uh, what you can say a swap say for example just saying okay a swap with its own liquidity and stuff like that so once that comes then they would have the conjunction in terms of listing that token on the swap as well as archangel will have a benefit of having transactions done through the project uh, in the nft marketplace using archangel ecosystem tokens okay i'm not saying only archangel tokens i'm speaking of archangel ecosystem tokens it can be any token from any of these epic projects that could, uh, that would come out later on okay so now once this conjunction happens or once this agreement happens between the nft marketplace uh, which is some say a token x and between archangel what happens here is as and when every transaction happens in the nft marketplace since it is built or connected to the ecosystem of archangel the burn happens the rewards happen the reflections or other rewards if in case it's configured for the native token okay so that is for token x i'm speaking of token x burn also happens token x rewards also happens one percent will be again allocated towards the project budget of token x and the staking pool reward will be paid to all those who are staking archangel in the token x format only all right so that's the beauty of having other projects conjuncting uh, or working in conjunction with this ecosystem or providing that platform for them to work hand in hand with archangel's ecosystem this is what interested me a lot in the project and uh, this is where i actually was a little mind blown as well because this would provide a whole new objective in terms of you know providing a big uh, platform and the ecosystem growth would go exponential if done correctly there is a clause yes there is always a clause if done correctly and we get the right partnerships signed up i am telling you this ecosystem would blow up like a nuclear bomb okay that's how big it can definitely grow just simply think of solana ecosystem i believe i did have a picture somewhere take a look at this uh, the actual solana ecosystem all right i don't know why it's not loading just a moment guys this is why i hate sometimes <laughs> all right yeah you can see the solana ecosystem is actually having so many 
projects in different variants okay your wallets fall under your sovereignty part like i showed you earlier exchanges the fintech and other stuff validators your um, i think the authentication or authenticity i believe that falls under that so instructor and other that's the broad classifications applications is your use cases uh, the defi again is your fintech or um, you know even the currencies also might fall into this so this is how it's all built up everything is interconnected see each one of them are different projects now we take exchanges for example ftx coin dcx crypto.com gate or dio take defi anchor serum waves usd or tether network and applications if you want to take say uh defuse or audius and again you have your validators which are hashquark for bill these are tools which they use for validating transactions guys it even helps in mining is what i believe but yeah uh, just my thought i'm not so sure on that now again the wallets there are so many wallets which are now connected to the solana, solana ecosystem now look at this in the solana ecosystem this is what can be the potential of archangel if done correctly if we have the right cards to meet and if we build this uh, particular ecosystem in such a manner where it is enticing for others to uh, go ahead and partner with us then definitely this is what we can see for archangel in the coming years i'm not saying months i'm not saying days i'm saying years because anything that of this scale would definitely take at least a minimum of one one and a half year duration guys but trust me solana does not have that mechanism where if you are having a solana coin or the token you won't be able to get rewards from either one of any of these exchanges or any of the other application wallets anything as such now ftx has its own token as an exchange crypto.com has its own token as an exchange now bilaxi also has its own token as an exchange i mean sorry not an exchange <laughs> has a token in the cryptocurrency uh, i mean crypto market out there so each one of them has its own token imagine this was archangel and you were receiving rewards from crypto.com in crypto uh, in the their native coin ftx in their native coin that's your ftx or co i guess cro or co i guess for crypto.com gate.io again they have their own uh, again bilaxi also they have their own coin uh, or the token right so imagine you were receiving all these or binance in fact also you have your bnb right so bnb also you are receiving just by staking archangel token just imagine the reward system then you are sitting back and just staking it you are letting your crypto do the hard work and that is where you are easily earning each and every portion of this token which are there as part of the ecosystem now that's something really huge and that's where i said uh, this is something which deserves its own video altogether because i wanted to explain and compare to you guys and probably put it across in a simple manner to help you understand what this reward system actually truly is in the behind so everyone sees this diagram and uh, people who are in the biology classes would definitely relate this to an amoeba or anything else i did do that from my side but uh, nonetheless this is what it is guys so uh, this is it for this video if you hit uh, like this video please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel to watch other great videos which are there for the crypto space and other tokens as well and along with that please do comment your views and do share this video to all those people who would like to know more about archangels ecosystem and this particular portion which says distribution of value and in case anyone of uh, out there uh, who is watching this video wants to make some corrections in whatever i have told till now or if you have any other views that you would like to share please do do that in the comment section i'll be happy to stand corrected in any of the coatings that i have done right till now and uh, i'll be happy to learn from you guys as well so having said that thank you so much for watching this video guys have fun